Hi everyone, it's me, Alma, and like I promised, um, I'm going to make this video just to quickly show you guys how simple it is to actually cut using the Cricut Craft Room. Um, in my first video, I kind of went through, you know, how to log in, setting up your account and stuff, so I'm already logged into my, um, my account under CCR, and I'm using the regular Cricut Expression 12 by 12 mat. It, um, just really quick, if you wanted to change mats, what you would do is you would go to the left hand side and there's a tab called options and you're going to go up to where it says project and down here it says the default machine it's Cricut Expression but anytime you wanted to change machines you would just click on here and it would change the mats for you like there's the 6x12 for the uh, baby bug etc etc so that's where you go to change your mats now if you want to change the default size of your cuts like let's say you want to make everything five inches but you know the layers you want it obviously to layer according to size so you would go down to the next tab which is craft room and it says dial size right now I have mine set at three but I think I'm gonna switch mine to four and then just press enter and now everything will be cut at four inches and then the layers will be cut um, proportionate to your four inches okay so let's zoom out a little bit and let's go back to my Cricut Expression mat. Okay, so I'm going to be working with the new Sweet Shop Cricut Light cartridge. And I am going to be working, this is what the book looks like. I'm going to be working actually with this strawberry right there. And I'm going to show you guys how to layer it onto the mat. So what we're going to do is once we are up here, you see the keypad overlay. I'm going to look for Sweet Shop, and it is down here. So you just click on it, and I always use the overlay just because it's easier for me. You could always click on images, and it'll bring up every individual image, but I'm just not used to that. It takes a little bit more time for me. So here is our strawberry. Now, for purpose of uh, saving time, what I like to do is I like to set my mat, or have my mat ready. I'm sorry, I can't zoom out. but like you can see, I have all my colored uh, cardstock already set on my mat. So I'm actually going to, if I'm going to cut facing this way, I am going to uh, just layer each uh, layer onto my mat according to the colors that I've already placed on my cardstock. So I have the dark brown, which I'm going to be using as the chocolate covering of the strawberry. And that one is at the top left on my mat. So I'm going to go ahead and click on layer. And that's sh shift. And here we go. There is my chocolate layer. So I'm going to go ahead and place that right well, let's move the keypad overlay down. But I'm going to go ahead and place that on my left right here. You can click on the image and just move it around, or you can click on this little circle up there with the arrows pointing in all directions, and that will move it all around the mat. Please excuse my daughter. She's in the back playing. Okay, so since I have my uh, chocolate covered, or chocolate laid out on my mat, I'm going to go ahead and choose my next layer. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the keypad overlay up again and this time I have the red, the red cardstock on the right side of my mat so that's going to be the base of my strawberry so I'm just going to unclick the layer button and it's right here so go ahead and lower your mat and move your image over here to the right very simple that's all you do it's pretty it's just like the gypsy where you just move images around so I'm going to scroll down I'm going to bring my keypad overlay up one more time, and this time I have the light green, which is going to be the stem, and that is going to be layer shift, and that's right here. And I'm just going to move that down here to the bottom right, because that's where I have my lime green. I was originally going to do the extra craft star, uh, craft a uh, cardstock layer which is like the light brown but I don't think I want to do that I think I just want to keep it really simple okay so I have my strawberry laid out on my mat 
So what I'm going to do next, once everything's done and laid out, I'm going to press cut right up there. So press cut and a window is going to pop up. This is going to be your preview window. So it shows you everything that's going to cut exactly where it's going to cut. And also this is where you're going to be setting your um, settings. So your pressure, your cut speed, your multi-cut and how, you know, it'll ask you to cut all the layers separately. And then right here, if you can see, it tells you the cartridge is used. I'm just using Sweet Shop, but if you were to use more than one cartridge, it would list every cartridge on there. So I think I'm just going to put my pressure at four and my cut speed at four. And Sweet Shop. Okay, so I am ready to cut. And to connect CCR to your machines, all you have to do is just connect it via U Oops, sorry about that. USB cable cord. So like you can see, I'm going to move my tripod a little bit. I have my laptop connected to my Cricut Expression, and it's already turned on. So once you're ready to cut, you're going to press cut one more time, and then it's going to say missing one cartridge. Please insert the Sweet Shop cartridge. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and insert the cartridge onto the machine. So let me go down right here. We're just going to insert that. And it's going to show on your window USB active. And now it shows on here Sweet Shop cartridge successfully detected. So then we're going to press continue one more time. And now it's going to say, insert the cutting mat, apply light pressure, and press continue. So once you get to this window, you're going to insert your cutting mat into your machine, just like so. And I'm doing this one-handed, so I'm sorry if this is a little bumpy, but we can go down to our machine. And we are ready to cut. So you just press continue. and it feeds it through and now it is cutting and that's all there is to Cricut Craft Room. Basic cutting, designing just like your Gypsy. You connect your Gypsy via USB cord and that's pretty much it. So I will show you guys what the strawberry looks like once it's done. So let, let this finish cutting. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know how Cricut cuts. And I will make Okay, so it's just about done cutting, and what it does is you don't even have to press unload or anything. It just automatically will unload for you. It takes you back to your design screen, and that's it. You are now free to design some more or cut whatever it is that you want to do. Sorry about that. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my strawberry out, and I have my chocolate layer right there. Now, I'm using some really cheap red cardstock from Hobby Lobby, so mine ripped, but that's user error. I think that's because I put my settings were a little off, but I'm going to go ahead and let me just let you look really quick on top of my laptop. And then I have my green stem. And that's pretty much it. You have your cut image. and. That's all there is to CCR as far as basic cutting. So I hope you guys found this video a little bit useful. Um, if you have any questions, just leave me a comment. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.